Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Tip Tuesday video and for today's video I want to show you guys how I've been refreshing my curly hair. So I filmed this video shortly after I woke up so this is pretty much how my hair looks every time I wake up with my curly hair. Um, I always sleep with a pineapple in and today I'm using this little bobble. So of course I have to first take that out and see what I'm working with and yes it always stay stuck in the position it was in overnight it's just how it goes but basically the first thing i want to do after taking it out of the pineapple is just give it a really good shake to kind of like loosen the curls and so i sort of shake and pull down to get them to sit where they normally should sit so i do this for a while i will start with my head being in an upright position give it a good shake and then i will flip my head over and do the same thing just keep shaking and keep Kind of pulling the curls down to where they should go and i'll do this for basically as long as i need to to get the curls to sit right and this is how it looks after i do the shaking so we still have a lot of work to do here but it's definitely looking better it's not stuck in that pineapple shape anymore and by the way this is on day three hair so the curls are not perfect anymore they are pretty stretched out from being in a pineapple but the curls are still there they just need a little bit of help today so we are going to fix them up in just a second so basically from this point i will let my curls just sit and still kind of continue to settle um, into their normal position so i will do something like do my morning skincare or just get ready for the day um, while they're still kind of settling into place um, and if i'm shorter on time or just want this process to go faster i will grab a headband or something stretchy like this it does look a little funny but it does speed up the process so i'll leave this on for maybe 10 minutes or so and this is what it looks like after i take it off so now my curls are looking a lot better they're more in their normal position and from here we can start redefining some of these curls and just getting rid of some of this frizziness so this is when i would grab my spray bottle and i'm going to kind of go through and find the pieces that are really frizzy and i'm going to work in really small sections so as you can see i'm just starting with this little section of curl right here and it is pretty frizzy so what i do is i just spray that section with water and then kind of run my fingers through to spread the water throughout the strand and then i grab my favorite product which at the moment is this on jackie's quench leave-in conditioner it works so well for my curls so i chose this because i know it's going to rehydrate my hair and help me get more definition so i just take a little tiny bit of that and run it through that strand and then i go in and finger coil them this is something that i normally do on wash day so i know this method works really well for my hair just gives me a lot of definition and it really just makes the curls pop so after finger coiling that section i'll just kind of blend it into the rest of my hair and i'll just kind of continue that same method throughout so just continuing finding pieces that are looking frizzy and just look like they need a little refresh and I will do that exact same method, so spraying it with water, grabbing a little bit of leave-in conditioner, you don't need too much because you're just working in small sections at a time. Run that through the strand and then finger coil it. And as you can see, it just looks like it's brought back to life. It just has that bounce back and it just looks a lot healthier and more defined. So I will continue the same method throughout my whole head just finding pieces that are really frizzy and just need a little refresh. Often I have a lot of trouble around my temples um, and kind of like just the front of my head. You can see this big section here is quite frizzy but just doing that same method again spraying with water, a little bit of leave-in conditioner and then just finger coiling it and I'm speeding this part up because I've already kind of shown you guys how I do it but I'm just going to continue repeating those same three steps.
so I decided to just do the right side of my head so that you guys can see the before and after and you can tell that the left side of my head is just a lot more poofed up and frizzy and the right side is a lot more defined and just looks a lot more fresh in my opinion. So I'll go ahead and do the other side off camera and this is what it looks like once both sides are done. So a lot more definition and it just looks more put together, more clean. It's not as crazy. There's still a little bit of frizz, but it's just a little bit more clean and refreshed. And again, this is day three hair, so I'm not expecting it to look perfect, but I love that this method brings back a lot of the definition and just makes the curls pop a little bit more and makes my hair still wearable on day three. So from here, you could just let your hair air dry or just leave the house like this, or you can go in with a diffuser and a blow dryer. Just if you do this, make sure you're using it on cool and low to avoid any more frizz. And I like to just hover over my hair and kind of keep it on the top of my head to keep the air going in the same direction as my hair strands, and this will also prevent any frizz from coming up. And that is pretty much it. So from here, my hair is dry. The curls are a lot more defined and I've put some moisture back into my hair to get rid of some of that frizz. Though there is still a little bit of frizz in there, the curls are nice and refreshed and I'll be able to stretch this wash and go one more day and not feel like my hair is just a frizzy mess. So I have really been enjoying this routine and I hope that if you have curly hair, you can try this for yourself and it helps you out as well. I've had so many bad wash and goes and so many just frustrated days because my curls were just frizzy and I couldn't figure out how to refresh them. So this routine has been really helping me and I really hope it can help you as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Also leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts on the video and let me know if there are any other videos you would like to see from me. But that is it for today, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!